Hello there. So we've just been in court and we've been uh, demonstrating outside court. Hashtag all religions must. And my ma I met Jerry, the man, and we're in Sweden. He's Swedish like me and he's an apostate. And tell us about how you came into the truth. Well, yes, uh, it's a long story. Uh, I was uh, excommunicated four years ago. Uh, and uh, I was born and raised uh, as a Jehovah's Witness uh, until uh, I was 27 when I was excommunicated. Uh, after uh, a while, uh, like a month, uh, it, will, it, it felt strange uh, to know that nobody was going to talk to you and you, you know, lost your network of friends. But uh, I, beforehand I, I did have some doubts and it made me think that, well, if I'm going to really come back, I needed to know that this was the truth. So I did some independent uh, research, uh, YouTube uh, mostly and Google. And uh, I just wanted to know deeply and for sure uh, that it, it was the truth because it must stay in and it must um, uh, stand some uh, uh, research, even if though it's research that is not allowed when you are in the truth. So you were doing this research when you were disfellowshipped? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, if you don't mind telling us why you were disfellowshipped? Well, uh, the thing is, uh, I well, I did uh, activities that was uh, forbidden. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, what everything thinks. Uh, <laughs> and because I, yeah, I really wanted to do that. Um, well, the thing is, before th this, the long story here is uh, that. Um, I was uh, in a depression uh, for a long time because I felt that uh, I struggled to, I, I love the truth, I wanted to be a good Jehovah's Witness, but I still love to play video games and drink alcohol and uh, do other stuff on the internet. Um, like pillow gate stuff? Yes, oh. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. Yep. Terrible. Yep. You're uh, a terrible person. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I enjoy it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and uh, I, I come to a breakdown and uh, I, I saw a doctor and he gave me some pills, you know, anti, you know, death, uh, happy pills. And uh, I got in some therapy and uh, I um, well that that was that the decision when I did the thing that was uh, uh, this this fellowship for uh, when I did because I felt that I want to do I want to live my life and that was thanks to the doctors and uh, after that uh, after my I began to research uh, I felt that well I'm gonna, I'm starting to see the, uh, the pattern uh, and I start to see all the lies and the manipulation uh, that I've been learned from and taught from Watchtower from my childhood and I really started to engage myself in Facebook with my own name, own picture and just started uh, well, mo yes, basically in, just in Swedish first and I remember my first post, I was nervous because uh, people didn't ex exactly know uh, this was like two months after my dis this fellowship and, uh, so I was nervous because maybe someone would call me or I don't know but nothing really happened and I continued and well and it's been a snowball effect after that it, uh, it took me a little over six months uh, before my Armageddon fear uh, disappeared mm -hmm. and after that I really started to more engage in Facebook and you know I got more more friends I started to invite some popular YouTubers to my uh, Facebook and uh, talk to them because I re already knew what they said and thought so 
and see their faces and so on. Yeah, so the waking up process, you, you started doing the research when you were disfellowshipped mm -hmm. and then you were a grown man mm -hmm. and you'd been uh, disfellowshipped once and, uh, what do you call it in English, rebuked something? Yeah, you had uh, you were not allowed to answer at the meetings. Yeah. Restrictions, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Restrictions once, and uh, you did research. So obviously, now we know. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff. But what's the three biggest uh, lies or things that you really got angry for, or well, that made you leave? Yeah. Well, this. Yeah. For, like for me, it was yeah. the stuff that really got me to wake up was actually geology. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> because it, like, like, you know, mm. in Sweden, the, the in Scandinavia, the mountains are flat on the top. The, the, the mountains look like this yeah. in Himalaya. And in Scandinavia, they look like this because there have been 40 ice ages. Okay, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this part is missing while the witnesses believe all mountains are... 4,000 years old. Yeah. So for me, geology was the big thing. Okay. So that's when I asked, what, what's your oh, thing? Uh, well, I would say that um, mostly to be aware of uh, some facts about, about the history uh, and, you know, the lies of the prophecies uh, and all the uh, changes, you know, you, you, as a Jehovah's Witness, you are mostly blind to it, or you just ignore it, mm -hmm. but you r don't really never understand it. Uh, but but like like what cr prophecy? Uh, 75 seven, or? Yeah, 1925, 75, uh, mostly that, uh, and even the UN connection. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that really took me a great while to understand. Uh, like over uh, half a year to really deeply understand the you know uh, and the other thing I would say is the the part when uh, you don't uh, are not allowed to have you know connection with friends with family people. yeah yeah well people uh, and my father said when I was uh, um, in phone with him. Uh, he said to me, he ended the call when uh, he when he like, got it that I was uh, apostate. He said to me, never call me again. Your father? Yeah. Ooh. And the funny thing is that he he himself is still this this fellowship since twenty thirty years That's now. That's the weirdest shit ever. Yeah. I thought I heard everything. Yeah. Because uh, please go back. You were baptized when yeah. you were thirteen years old. Yes. Yeah. Uh, since witnesses only baptized grown-ups, mm. you were 13 years old, and then tell me what happened in what led up to your relationship with the father after that. The same you told earlier. Yeah, and I and I see what you're getting at. Uh, yeah, uh, after I was baptized uh, when I was 13, uh, there was this um, meeting where we have the kingdom service, uh, the kingdom minister service, uh, and it. Uh, was an example of a uh, mother with two sons and mother got uh, this uh, this fellowship and the sons uh, called her and said that well we must minimize our contact now we cannot have the same relation and that was something that after I was baptized well I must do the same thing to my father he is this this fellowship even though you know he is you know he doesn't hate it but I called him and uh, it was very tearful and I cried and I think he also cried a little little so it was very emotional thing so, so, so as a 13 years old you call your father and say I will not have contact you, you uh, your parents were yeah. divorced yeah yeah, yeah yeah and you call your father and you probably felt uh, if you were like me that this is my own decision no. Or no, 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 no. This is was I was I was or copying what I was. It's uh, the right thing to do, or? Yeah, it felt well. This is what the organization has said to us to do. With uh, even if it, it, it's your own parent, same rule as goes. Hmm. So you call your father when you're 13 years old and said you never had contact with him, and he was disfellowshipped. Yeah. And he's been disfellowshipped all the time. Yeah. 
but then when you're disfellowshipped, he's okay with that. But when you're apostate, then he's not no yeah. longer okay with it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Apostates, we are terrible people. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's so weird. Mm. You know, looking back, you know, I used mm. to be a cult member. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's so weird. So, um, so we just been to court and uh, the witness is being accused of showing a movie without asking a permit. The Swedish law is that every film you, you show in, um, in a public screening, actually the, the legislation says uh, the actual wording is in a public convention. And the witness has showed it is in a convention. So when they were uh, mm. talking about what they did, they used every word except convention because so they say this wasn't no 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 we showed this at a religious sermon they were they never used the word convention because that's still they say this rule doesn't apply to religion sermons because the, the actually wording in the legislation is convention and no, this is like a congress for us yeah oh, this is it's yeah. a congress yeah uh, congress um uh, sermon uh, a teaching opportunity yeah. they used every word yeah. except convention yeah. um, and they asked the witnesses the witness uh, in court the witness witnesses the, the, did you did, did anyone sell popcorn <laughs> because they tried to say like that's a cinema yeah the that's how you define a public screening is popcorn or non-popcorn <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know but our protest is for children's rights and all religions must and will you tell our viewers what's our thoughts or what your thoughts because i'm not your elder i cannot no. tell you what to think no even uh, if i would like to okay <laughs> i can tell you how to feel though oh, yeah. you should, you're supposed to hate yourself yeah of course <laughs> uh, but you're allowed to love me okay <laughs> of course yes <laughs> Uh, well, uh, this was a new experience for me, uh, and uh, I, I, I always like been looking for an opportunity to uh, participate in some kind of this uh, thing. Uh, in Sweden, it's not so common thing uh, with the process to, you know, plan this kind of things. So uh, I, I seize the moment. Like it took four years, but I seized the moment, and uh, I was really, you know, loaded when I woke up this morning, and I, you know, I took off the day from work just to come, you know, here. So, yeah. Yeah, it was it was fun. What do you think about the witness defense? That was uh, rubbish, and uh, you know. I I don't know how they can think and still believe when they are, you know, it's so backward, you know, back for you know, I don't know. It's disturbing in some way to to be proud to be a honest sayer, you know, in the tr as a member of the truth and do this in a court. It's like two different. <laughs> Uh, so I told him not to shake the table because mm. of the camp. And um, yeah, it, it was weird. Yeah. Because you call it the truth, and you know, when we were kids, we were told to stand up for the truth, even if we were thrown in a flaming oven. And the angels, you know, always stand up for the truth. And then you go to court, and the witnesses, you know, uh, normally their defense is that we are persecuted. We are the only one persecuted, and we are wonderful people. Yeah. And everyone else breaks this law, which is a rubbish argument in any court. Like, I'm not the only bank robber. <laughs> Why are you persecuting me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> it's like they sell out all their doctrines just to get out of it. I remember one thing they, they said that we're not, because they are showing these movies and like that, and they actually testified in court that Jehovah's Witnesses, we're not unique in any way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. we just want God's one true religion mm. and everyone else deserves to die. But we're not unique mm. in any way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I also love what, what is it? they said, uh, 
well, they made this argument that we didn't know about this legislation and we cannot be, that's like one, that's the, if you go to law school, that's the first thing you learn the first day of school, you know, it doesn't matter what people are, uh, people are obligated to know the legislation of the land. Mm. If you erect a house without a permit, mm. you can say, well, I didn't know that at the time, so sorry, mm. you have to take down the house. And it's also been in the Watchtower many times mm. that the normal legislation of a country is that you have to follow the law un even if you don't know it. Yeah. And now, and witnesses actually believe that if, if someone has, it's this been in the Watchtower, uh, if you have seen a Bible from a distance, that's enough for you to, that you should have done something with it and therefore you deserve to die if you have ever heard about the Bible. Mm -hmm. So not knowing about the law like witnesses actually believe that Jesus came, Jesus, um, the English word, he appeared, yeah, mm. he appeared invisibly yeah. in 1914, and he elected the watchtower also invisibly in 1914, and if you don't know about this, you deserve to die. <laughs> yeah. so, so the concept of not, <laughs> not being aware of being aware of legislation, yeah, Jesus, it's, it's a really weird yeah, Jesus, <laughs> for them to use yeah, that. Yeah, Jesus show, shows them 1980-1990, it was, it was a period, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, petty, petty enough. But, but, but they actually believe that if you don't know yeah. about the Bible, you still have to follow the Bible yeah. and therefore you don't deserve to live. And also the witnesses, they actually lie because they have applied for a permit mm -hmm. to show a uh, public screening, but they know when it's these doomsday videos, they, they should never uh, be allowed to do it. So, um, back to you, how, how's your relationship with your parents now? Uh, yeah, my mom passed away. Oh, I'm minute, sorry. Yeah, uh, seven years ago, uh, and she was also Jehovah's Witness. Uh, but now with my father, uh, well, I, have, I haven't spoken with him like in two years. I think. So you're shunned by a disfellowshipped father. Yeah. That's so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fucked because he's been disfellowshipped for how long? Since uh, I was born. I I, I remember him took uh, he took me to the meetings, but in Forster, but uh, I think yeah he was already dis disfellowshipped. So he's been time. out of the organization for thirty years mm -hmm. and. So, that's the end of the interview. I'm sorry, for whatever reason, the camera didn't film the end of it. Maybe it's the Smurfs. I bought the camera on a flea market and I forgot to ask if the previous owner was involved in spiritism. <laughs> so, maybe it was... Maybe the demons didn't like the last end of the interview where we concluded with that Jehovah's Witnesses are God's one true religion and that teaches people how to use Bible principles to have a better family life. Like in the case of Jerry, he had to shun his father when he was 13 years old. Kids are not supposed to do that. And then when he decided that he didn't want to be Jehovah's Witness, his disfellowshipped father is shunning his son because even though I have been disfellowshipped for 30 years, at least I'm not an apostate, like this terrible, terrible son of mine that don't believe in Santa Claus. No, Jehovah. Don't believe in Jehovah. I hate my son. I will never talk to him again. It's so weird. And still you see them on the street standing with a cart. You can see my parents standing on the street with a cart that said, how to have a family life. So, it's weird. Anyway. So I'm uh, in the process of, I came back to the farm obviously, I'm in the process of throwing out my uh, created by Jehovah tree because uh, this is the first time I, I ever had a created by Jehovah tree inside my house but uh, God hates created by Jehovah tree so I'm gonna give it to my goats see if they would like to worship it come on False worship. That's Neil Gardner, the younger, the younger and more handsome person.
Come on. Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas dear Irina, Merry Christmas to you. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a new beginner at this, I, I'm not really good at it. Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas to you, Merry Christmas dear goat goat, Merry Christmas to you. Oh, that's Kim and Mikey. They're bigger now. It's a Sunday and I'm so tired. No more apostasy today. I'm just gonna relax. Uh, maybe a little apostasy. Fuck the governing body. Uh, but that's all for today. So, can you say something to the camera? Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. That's a good idea. What's that? No, no more apostasy. No more apostasy today. <laughs>